Well, it's definitely summer now. It is fucking hot. So, uh, beer review now. Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Sarge. Thought we'd go mystical jungle today. But anyway, Beer Reviews with the Beer Sarge. I've just finished work. I've got me fucking work fucking clothes off, chucked them in the wash, chucked on a uh, singlet, come straight out into the bar, grabbed a cold one out of the fridge, and I thought, what I'm going to do is, I am like, it's been fucking hot all day, I've been out at the beach, um, so I'm thirsty. Does it matter what your first one is? Like, can you drink like a stock standard shit box and does it actually cut the mustard? Does it does it do the job? Does it do the trick? So I found this shit box. Well, I don't I can't really call it a shit box yet, can I? I found this in the fridge. Uh, I mean, there's more writing on there than a fucking episode of the fucking the New Zealand Herald or whatever they call the newspapers nowadays. Um, but this is called Marque Original Oitinger Pils. So it's Pilsner. Original import from Germany, it says. Uh, it says on the side here, with a kind of German flag. It says kind of original German beer. Um, and then it says imported into Australia by some crowd over there. No label, all printed on the can. Uh, and... It's a 500 mil, 4.7 Pilsner. Now, it's cold as, it's cold, fuck it's cold, and that's just how you want to drink a, a real cold drink after work. So I'm going to throw this in a glass, and I'm going to drink it, and I'm going to see if this actually kills the thirst, just like um, a really nice, hazy, or a very, very, like an awesome West Coaster would. Right, let's have a go quite thin cans these uh, these imported German things into this uh, this rather fancy glass but look at that so she's a real oh, it's like I mean Pilsners and Lagers fuck them a go-to love them uh, so look at that that's pretty fucking good quite a nice looking brew and yeah clear very very clear uh, smells like your stock standard lager so you can smell those light pilsen malts. Um, nothing, nothing outstanding, but fuck, do I want to drink this? Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see, see if this will kill the meanest thirst like Alan P does. It certainly hits the mark. Flavour-wise, uh, well, to be fair, when you're smashing it back like there, you're not really flavouring it at all, eh? You're not trying to suss out the flavour, you're just trying to get it down your bloody throat and get rid of the dust. Or oh, the sand in my case. What are you eating? God, I don't know. Dog. Um, right, let's try it again for a, let's do a bit of tasties this time. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's quite bitter. It's quite bitter. Yeah, it's bitter-ish. Um, for a Pilsner it's quite good. Has that, yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, what can I say about it? Um, I think they were cheap. I think they're three dollars a can or something. So they're very, very good value. Um, Four point seven. So they're a little bit lower than your Heinekens and your um, Steinies and that sort of thing. But at four point seven, it's not a hell of a lot of difference. And you're getting a five hundred ml can. Um, yeah. Well value for money 
yes taste wise um, you're left with a bit of a sort of a brackish taste in your mouth a bit of a brackish taste um, Mm. Yeah, a bit of a brackish taste, yeah, but it's but it's not uh, it's not foul. It's not foul. Like for the price and the amount that you're getting for the price for a German beer, an imported German beer. Admittedly, it doesn't. It's not. Yeah, it's okay. What would I what would I compare it to? Compare this with maybe a. Maybe Steiny Pure, maybe. Given the fact that the Pilsners and Lagers are very similar but slightly different um, in, yeah, in saying that, yeah, that, this is probably on its own, it's a fairly decent sort of beer. Um, I don't know. Grab a can down at bloody Liquorland and try it. I mean, it's not going to kill you. Um, yeah, but it does make me wonder why we can get imported German beers at such very low prices um, when we pay like a premium for our produced locally stuff. Uh, and I'm not talking about the craft beer either. I'm talking about the produced locally stuff in bulk the big stuff from the big boys all right there you go there is a midweek beer review from the beer search